regular Sunday blog, and today I want to talk about something that's something that uh, comes up in every conversation, at every dinner table, everywhere in every house in America. That's the fear of being attacked by the Muslims at some point, at a certain time, there's a certain kind of, of a Muslim fundamentalist crowd that for some reason we don't know will try to bomb or destroy a certain building and terrorism will fly all over the country. And that's what we're sitting frightened of. So because we're so frightened of the possibility of terrorism, we, every time we see a Muslim, if instead of us being, uh, being uh, obnoxious to them or arrogant to them or, or to some way acting like they disturb us, we act just the opposite. We become just so solicitous to them as if, if we are kind enough to them and give them things, even when they don't deserve it and they don't even ask for it. Or even if they show up, you want to buy them something, give them something, do something, maybe it'll calm them down, maybe they'll start to love you. Maybe if you do them enough favors, they'll stop to bomb buildings. They'll, who's going to bomb a building if you're nice to them at an airport? Like right now, they know that they got you in such fear. Even though Muslims in general are wonderful people, as, a, as human beings in general, I'm not talking about all the Muslims. Most of the Muslims are humble, sweet, gentle souls. They're much more respectful and courteous than almost any, any American. I find the, most, the Muslim people are gentler and kinder than most Americans. They're not the type that will crash against you on a line. They won't they jump on you in a crowd. They won't fight against you in a, when there's a sale. They won't push. They won't scream. They won't holler. They're always humble and gentle. They just bomb buildings. That's the only thing they do. And the ones who bomb buildings don't represent the Muslims. They represent a certain fringe violent element, just like there's a Ku Klux Klan in America. Nobody thinks the Ku Klux Klan represents the typical American, and they don't represent the typical Muslim. But because the Muslims in general have us so fearful of anything they might do that we're ready to buy them and do anything for them whether they deserve it or not. Like right now, right now at the airports they want a special room so they could bathe their feet because it's a religious ritual to bathe their feet at an airport. And they demand it. And as soon as they said it, everybody says, sure, let's buy it for them. We don't know why we're buying it for them. This is their own religious ritual. Why would we owe them a special consideration that we would give nobody else from any other religion? Because a Jew doesn't bomb a building. If a Jew asked you, you know, there's a special ritual among Jews that uh, before Passover, uh, we give out matzah. Everybody eats matzah. So what if he said that it's Passover now and every airport in America should have matzahs ready to give out to every Jew who shows up? What if we said we also have a quorum of 10 people before we pray? And we said every airport should have to have 10 Gentiles ready for in case a Jew shows up and wants to start praying. Would you give it to him? <laughs> Who's going to do anything that for any other religion, no re people from any other religion ever had the nerve, the gold, to suggest that you have to pay for their religious ritual. If you have that religious ritual and you can't live without it, that's your business. If they don't expect the country to pay for it. Does the, does the country pay for Christmas trees? You have to buy your own Christmas tree. As a matter of fact, the country doesn't even allow you to say Merry Christmas. Because not only don't they buy you anything, they stop you from even observing anything. Every single time a menorah is put up in a lobby of any building, somebody complains that it's a religious ritual and it should be thrown out. Did you hear of the government buying every Jew a menorah? <laughs> you mean to tell me that every time anybody from any religion, what if they want to go further among the Muslims? What if they say, you know something, we found out that they don't have to bathe our feet, we have to go swimming for an hour. <laughs> Would we put in a pool in every airport so they could go swimming? What if they had a tradition among the Muslims that you also have to hear music before they pray? They want a band. Would you hire a band for them so that every time you walk into an airport, all of a sudden an orchestra starts playing? How much and how far do we have to go to cater to them? And how obnoxious are you going to be about demanding things that nobody else would ever have the knife to ask for? We deny religion every place else because there's a separation of church and state, except when their Muslims show up. So not only do we don't we deny it, but we have to pay for it. We have to give them presents for it. We have to pray to God they should accept it. You know why? Because they're Muslims and they might bomb a building. We don't know which one will bomb a building, so buy them everything. See, a Jew, nobody's afraid of. That's why a Jew can't even ask for anything. Because what's the waste a Jew could do? Sue, nobody cares. All you have to do is put everything in your wife's name and forget about it. Mm -hmm.